Dear students, as we know that in our economic analysis, we deal with various types of curves. We might deal with a straight line, we might deal with a parabola or with a cubic function or maybe a rectangular hyperbola because this is one of the special cases in our economic analysis. We shall see how it is related with the elasticity. Let us see. Now you can see that there is a demand function that we have assumed and it is slightly unusual. As you can see, the price denominator may appear or a constant jo hai, wo numerator may appear. Or and here the assumption is that k is positive and the price ki power n is positive. Hai. Now if we want to calculate the elasticity of this rectangular hyperbola, it should follow the same formula. As we have written here, the formula is the same. However, we need to calculate it by using the suitable rule of differentiation. As you can see, we have taken the derivative and th this is the demand function that we just introduced here. Is key differentiation by using power rule calculate ki gaya. K ko humne bahe rakha hai or in the expression of derivative we have written p by reciprocalizing it is hum upar lege aur iski power minus 1 ho now iski differentiation asan hai by using the power rule aap ise verify kar sakte hain see if it is correct iska jo simplified version hai it is here humne isko rearrange karke aise likh liya which is now more compact in its form now we are able to come to the elasticity formula and put the values in it derivative numerator mein hum substitute karte hain aur jo demand function hai wo numerate denominator mein aur uski ratio hogi with price so this is the standard formula jo elasticity of demand ke liye hum calculate karte hain now this will remain the same as it is aur isko hum reciprocalize kar lenge and interestingly you will see there will be a lot of cancellation only n is surviving the cancellation baki cheeze aap dekh sakte hain they are getting cancelled out so what we get is this value of elasticity of demand which is negative and we can agree with the negative value because we are talking about demand and because there is a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded and it is a constant value ye cheez isme humne note ki ke iska jawab manfi to hai hi but a constant value bhi is way generate we are or is can the koi variable in definitely it is not there it's just n which is a constant value hota ye hai ke if we assume that n is equal to 1 then the shape of this curve will be the rectangular hyperbolic curve so in order to visualize this let us see the graph of it here you can see that we have quantity on x-axis and price on y-axis usually just we have graph banate and there is this curve which we can say is rectangular hyperbolic curve and the reason hum isko ye keh sakte hain is that the elasticity of demand is equal to 1 at this point so on this point and even if we calculate it at any other point maybe c or d or e the elasticity of demand in all of the cases will remain one when this happens we can say that this demand function is following a rectangular hyperbolic curve and the procedure of verifying this is easy as we can take the derivative and apply the usual formula of elasticity of demand and see that its answer is minus one hai. and if it is then definitely we are able to verify that this is a rectangular hyperbolic demand function.